What I've got here is a piece of 4140 steel where, which I've just drilled a hole into and then I've used a chamber reamer to cut a nine uh, millimeter chamber into this as if it was a gun barrel. It's not really a gun barrel, but just to simulate um, a chamber on a gun barrel. Now what I'm, what I'm examining is the finish that the reamer gives. Now, this is a very good brand new reamer. It, cut, it does cut very well. But if we use our bore camera, we slide back the tail stock there. We'll get a um, bore camera here. And um, if we start to, there is some, very, see if we go in, you can see where the drill, the twist drill has cut the hole down inside the uh, the steel, it's got a very poor finish. Then we come back to where the reamer has um, cut the chamber and it's got a much, much better finish, but there are still some little marks in there, up and down, uh, which we can see there. So what, what we're gonna do is try another tool inside the chamber um, and see if that will even give us a, a better finish inside our nine mil chamber. So we're taking the reamer and its floating holder out. We're inserting. This is a special tool here with these little rollers. All right, now this is specially made to do a nine millimeter chamber uh, and it will these little rollers are super hard and they will go around inside the chamber and smooth it perfectly smooth. Okay, so we put this, fit this in our tailstock. Get it ready to go in. We need to put some oil in there and this needs to be run in carefully. This is the tool, and in its rear end here is a um, is a adjustment. So this can has got a spring loaded piece in here that adjusts the pressure on the rollers. So now that I've started rolling the chamber, I'm just going to bump it up a bit so it'll look, now the rollers will have more pressure on them when they go into the chamber. Okay, I'm putting, inserting the scope into the chamber now. You can see, look at it, it's like a mirror finish inside. And you can see there's a little bit on the end that hasn't had the burnishing rollers over it that's cut by the original reamer finish. All right, when you come back, look at the burnished finish. It's like a mirror on there. And that's just from rolling the metal not removing any, any, not cutting any, it just rolls it all dead smooth. Quite remarkable, makes your chamber perfect and, and uh, 
slippery to eject the cartridge easily. So our nine millimeter case, the slide entered the chamber perfectly and the burnishing rollers are set at an angle that matches the, um, the contours of the case there and it gives you that perfect shape for the chamber. So you end up with a chamber that's nice and smooth, um, as good as you can get it. What I've done here is I've cut right through the, uh, the chamber that we just formed. So let's just take, this is a nine millimeter case. Let's just, let's get it out of the way. And you can see there the, um, how the, this tool with the rollers, the burnishing tool has left such a beautiful finish here in the, in the chamber area. This, um, the reamer of course has got finely ground blades but they leave a dull finish which you can see there and where the burnishing tool has been is left like a mirror finish in the chamber and this is how when you look at a lot of uh, factory rifles that are uh, produced by the big companies their chambers are like that and they do use these burnishing tools quite a lot All right so having a tool like this allows you to have a, um, a chamber that is smooth and will allow the cartridge to feed and uh, extract uh, more easily with less wear on the uh, on your cartridge case and, and everything because the, the surface of the metal can flow more easily on a perfectly smooth surface there so that's the end result from using the burnishing tool